Hello guys, welcome back to another session of Automation Anywhere A360 platform and in today's session we'll be looking at number package. So let me pull up the number package action commands. So there are five actions available within the number package that are assigned decrement increment random and two string. So we'll see uh, the actions uh, in detail with, with the help of an example. So let's get started with this. I'll first click assign. So basically as the name suggests, it's, uh, it's for assigning a value to a number variable. So from here we can create a number variable, num, um, any, any uh, random number, let's say num digit is my number variable and I'm assigning 50 to it so now the 50 is assigned okay then we'll go with increment operation uh, increment action item basically it increments the given number so here we can enter the number so uh, for example uh, let me type here num digit so num digit I want to increment this number by let's say 10 and assign it to uh, assign it back to num uh, the same variable you can you can do uh, assign it back to the same number or can hold it into a different newly created variable so uh, for simplicity let's assign it back to the same number and over here uh, let me pull up decrement so i'll decrement the same num digit uh, with let's say 5 so whatever current value will be of num digit will be decremented by five and again we'll be storing it in num digit variable. So now uh, let's see here uh, we have initialized uh, num digit variable with 50 value and then incremented by 10. So value of num digit is 60 now and then we are again decrementing by five. So it should be 55. So we'll put a message box here. Uh, a message box here and just to check the value of uh, num digit num digit okay it, it's showing us an error because num digit is a number type variable and in message box it only takes string data type so we'll we'll convert it using two string method okay and here i'll write num digit okay so current value of num digit will be this and going back to number variable uh, sorry number act package uh, we have a random and two string okay so let me just show you uh, using two string method so let's say uh, we have a num digit number and we want to convert it into a string variable so we need to create a string variable let's say str uh, digit okay str digit okay so whatever value is there in num digit will be assigned to um, str digit so here we have another option of enter the number of digits after decimal places so uh, for example if you want to um, uh, get the number like in a, in a decimal format so like if your number is 35.265 so uh, if you want digits uh, after how many digits you want uh, after decimal places so you can specify here if you specify here one so you will get 35.2 and vice versa okay uh, so in our case uh, our number is a whole number uh, it's not in, like a decimal number so we we will keep it as it is okay so now again let me copy this message box over here and um let's print here str str digits value uh, now uh, i don't need to convert this variable because it's already a string data type okay and now the last uh, random action so let me pull this up over here random so random what this random action does is uh, it will give you a random number from whatever range you specify for example 
uh, here beginning range you can specify let's say 10 and end of range let's say 30 so it will uh, every time whenever you execute this bot it will give you a random number between 10 and 30 okay so let's assign this to a new variable uh, let me call it num random or rather n random okay i've created this variable and let's display this value uh, in a message box random number n random dot to string okay so this is uh, this is it our bot is ready with all the we have used all the available action uh, from number package so let me execute this bot so first of all it will assign 50 to num digit then it will increment num digit by 10 then decrement it by 5 then you should be able to see the value then we will be converting the num digit to a string data type and then we'll be displaying that value and at the last we'll be doing a random operation or like we'll be using a random um, action so you can see uh, here the value is 55 for num digit then again we have converted this 55 to a string way uh, data type again it's showing a value as 55 and now we got the random number as 13 we have specified uh, a number range from 10 to 30 so we got 13 that's all the bot got executed now uh, let me uh, just uh, disable this for you and we'll we'll see the uh, random number execution once again last time we got 13 let's see what we get this time so i'm executing the bot again sorry here i made a typo while just typing a random number please ignore that mm, bot is taking a while this time not sure why mm. let me cancel this uh, and again try to run this yep so it's deploying and we should see any random number this time so last time we we saw 13 as a random number this time 12 let me try it uh, one more time I'll also rectify this number okay and let's enable the code entire code anyway it is just taking the same amount of time so I'll just enable it and also I'll put one uh, one more message box over here uh, so that uh, first of all we'll we'll show you the value of num digits uh, after the assignment just after the assignment we'll see the value then after increment we'll see the value and then after decrement also we'll see the value and that's it let's run this bot Okay, bot is downloading dependencies because we have modified the bot so yeah it's downloading dependencies yeah so we got the initial value of num digit as 50 then it's incremented by 10 we got 60 then it should be decremented by 5 we got 55 and same we uh, in string format and now we got the random number as 26 so that's all guys uh, 
hope you uh, like this video and uh, if you really find it useful please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share this video among your friends